Hi everyone, I'm gonna be working on a Mercedes-Benz 2014 CLA uh, in the, I guess, package? Anyway, uh, let's change the belt, uh, the accessory belt, which is buried in there. It's somewhere in there. So first thing we're gonna do is, and now you can see it, so the belt is right there, middle of the screen. So what we need to do is, uh, we're gonna remove this bolt. It's a unique bolt. It's not one of those uh, regular bolts because it's a Mercedes Benz. It's special. Uh, star bit bolt, is that what it's called? So let's remove all that. So I think there's five of them. One, two, three, four, and five. So let's take this out on the top. That way uh, we can get access to the engine mount right here. So let's remove the engine mount as well. I think we're gonna remove the tire, so let's see. Let's see if I can get it on top. I've never done it, so let's go ahead and do it, okay? I'm draining the oil at the same time. Multitasking, guys. All right, everyone, so remove this. It's clicked on right here. And then remove this top right here that sits on top. All the bolts, remove it. It's gonna be E18 and E13, is it 13 or? E14 and E13. So 14 and then 18, I should say. E14, E18. Remove this, the, once you push this out, take out the holder right here. Take out all the screw on the bottom. And then another one right there. Uh, so basically, take them all out, anything that you see on top. Now, we're gonna remove the wheel and then we're gonna penetrate through the side. There's a screw somewhere in there. Let me get my light. There's a screw right over there. There's two of them. There's the other one right there. Uh, let's remove them both. That way we can slide it out so we can access the belt. Man, there's a lot of stuff there to remove just to access the belt, right? Okay, so let's pump the tire. I mean, the, let's jack the car and then uh, remove the the panel. And then, uh, oh my God. I was also re removing the spark plug, but let me just start on this because gonna be another story for that one remove all the pins or the clips underneath so there's two eight millimeter like this screw on the bottom so remove it one on top one on the side one on the bottom and two little clips on this side right here pull it down as you can see where's my light hold on guys one second guys and gals I'm working on the night because it's summer time it's hot so there you can see that's the belt and I have removed the two nuts right there as you can see the car is on a jack right there on the engine as you can see you can see the you know where you where I removed the the nut right over there just push down that wire right here right here to access the other side it's this one right here just push it down just like that okay and you can access them both. So, this is how it looks like now. This engine mount is off. What is this? This is broken. Oh wow, it broke. So, is this mount good? Or is this old? Anyway, this wire, this little piece right here broke off. Is this metal? Or Oh no, it's not. It's like paper. It's probably... So it goes like that. Um, this is towards the engine side. <clears throat> like this. So I took it out. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I'm thirsty. <clears throat> so it sits like that. And it's out. Um, that's also E18. Take it out. And the belt we can access. There's no special things to, to do on here. It's just basically remove this to access those two bolts right there, guys and gals. One on the left, one to the right. See, that's two holes right there. Uh, that's where you access the two E18. Now we can see, we can see, finally we can see them, the belt. So let's study the belt, the position of it, and then we're going to replace it with the OEM belt. And then... Um, I guess this is where you also put the, the nut right here. 
I know what that is. Let's find out what it is. All right, so now that we have a clear view, make sure you jack your engine all the way up. That way there's a room. Mercedes decided to not to have a room in here. So I have a T55 by itself, like a big nut by itself. And then you put it in here. It's a T55, like that. And then I have a size 10. So I have a size 10 um, wrench and we could just loosen it up like that. So this will give us enough clearance to go in there and remove it. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go remove the belt. Oh, uh, to remove the belt, tilt it towards the, the bumper. Not towards the passenger, you tilt it like this. Okay, and that should loosen it up. Go ahead and pull the, the rubber. The rollers, they seem to be okay. There's no um, weird noise or anything like that. You know what I mean? So we'll keep the rollers. It's not, it's not that hard to change one day anyway. So actually, it would be a good time to change the roller, but I don't have it. Fudge. Anyway. Ah, dang. This one goes away on top. All right, so the orientation of the belt is crankshaft. It goes to the pulley, the pump. Oops, sorry. And then it goes to um, the alternator. And then it loops back down on the, um, on the main um, bearing right here on the bottom. So right here. So it looks like that, okay guys? So this too, the crank, it goes all the way. Then it goes back up. Sorry about the, the dark lighting, but uh, yeah, it looks like that. And it's on. So first, when you tighten it, crank it here, and then uh, tighten it from, I mean, uh, hook it up on the bottom right here. So when you um, loosen up the tensioner, you uh, put this um, belt on the, la on the last one right here because um it's very tight and it just goes there um like you know like almost like to a perfect position because it's a new belt it's very tight so yeah once you have someone hold it or if you have long arm you can reach it like i did i i was able to reach it by myself crank it towards the bumper and then uh, push it in all right sideways i did it like that all right guys so i'm gonna put everything back in it's done and then um I'm gonna try to tackle the spark plugs. I already disassembled this earlier, but I kind of put it back because I need a little bit of room. So anyway, let's put this thing back and um, maybe I'm gonna tackle that. I got the spark plugs already. I started unplugging everything in it. So let's put back the, um, the engine mount right here. All right, guys and gals. The trick to putting on the bolt back to um, the hole. So I don't know if you can see it. Um, jack the car, and then kind of like, kind of like just aligned it. I don't know if you can see. Hold on one second. See, while you're jacking the car slowly, there you go. You can see my bolt is actually aligned to the engine mount. So once you do that, you know, you jack slowly. Go ahead and just put the bolt back, you know, T18, and then um, tighten them. And then you drop the jack. So once you drop the jack, as you can see, the bolt just aligns itself on both of them. Perfect, and those two bolts are tightened. Man, this is a process to remove this belt on a Mercedes-Benz CLA. Um, you know, I've been always working on Hondas and things like that and other cars. And this is a, this is special to be honest with you guys. Um, it's very special. Make sure all this stuff, nothing was touched. That looks good. Put this back, actually, this one first. Goes like this. Good thing. 
That's one of the shortest ones, so that might be it. What else, what else, what else? All right, let's tighten those nuts. All right, guys and gals, everything is buttoned. I'm just gonna crank it, make sure nothing will fall off <laughs> or disengage itself. All right, everyone, and that's how you remove your belt. Thanks for watching. Until next time. I mean, it's pretty tough, but God bless. We made it through. I hope you did too. I'll catch you on the next Mercedes video. Take care, everyone. Please subscribe, okay? Thank you. Help me out on my channel. Take care.